Hi right guys, this is a video on Windows software, this time I'm talking about backing up your drivers. Now, what is a driver? Well, a driver is a couple of files on your computer which tells your computer what hardware you have and where, how to use it and where it's located. So things like your mouse, your keyboard, they all run off drivers. So if you go to reinstall your operating system, so if you wipe your computer clean and put Windows back on it, uh, you might find that certain things don't work, like your video might be bigger, or your mouse won't, buttons won't work, or keyboard, multimedia keyboard buttons don't work. That'll be because it's loading default drivers that Microsoft have made, and not the actual drivers for your computer. So I consider this to be quite important for, because any basically anything can go wrong with Windows. So you might end up getting to the point where you have to wipe your computer clean and start again, and then you'll find that you'll have an issue of trying to find drivers on your computer because they'll list up as unknown devices so it's best to do this if you're as a procedure to as a security procedure so you make sure you can do it when you reinstall windows so it says essential for custom built pcs um, custom built pcs uh, don't have recovery discs because when you buy a pc usually from a shop you get a recovery disc for it um, you can't do that with custom built because obviously you've made it yourself so it's better to get all the drivers backed up for that. Uh, people who experiment with OS's operating systems, basically I wiped my PC and moved to Windows Vista and then I found out some things didn't work with it so I went back to XP only realising that I couldn't find my recovery disk so I had to do a clean install of Windows XP then to find that it couldn't find my hardware. So I, luckily I had it on a USB drive for backup of my drivers so um, I could just restore them um, easily and I'll be showing you how to in a second. Um, also people who frequently upgrade drivers now think Windows can roll back drivers but this is a fail safe in case it doesn't work you will have a backup of all your drivers that are working now. So there's two programs I'm going to show you, one is called C Sharp Driver Backup and one is called Win Driver, Win Drivers Backup. I think there's some other freeware applications out there but th these are the two easiest I've found to use and um, well, let's just run them. So we'll start with C Sharp. This seems easier than the other one because all it says is these are all non-Microsoft drivers that I have on my computer. So I've got, for example, my webcam, my modem, phone, um, log me in, uh, my video card, things like that. So um, all I have to do is select them all, press back up, uh, make a new folder on my desktop for the second. We'll say drivers. Okay. Yeah and it says your drivers have been backed up and that's it, that's done so you can then move this onto a pen, onto a USB drive or something like that and you'll notice that inside it's got several folders so when you need to restore this you plug your USB drive in or whichever and then you can see easily what, what things you have on your computer so you go at display, NVIDIA and then you're looking for an inf, INF file which is here you right click it and press install and it will install your driver for you so that's particularly useful. Again, they're all in different categories, which are easy to read. Uh, when drivers backup, does the same sort of thing, just looks a bit prettier. So you say backup drivers to the desktop. I'm going to make another folder. I'm going to call it drivers two, and OK it. So it's going to. You can either choose to identify all drivers, so it will include the Microsoft ones. So if you go to reinstall Windows XP or something, and you choose one of those custom ones that are really really tiny and they haven't included all the drivers with the with the computer you can just identify all the drivers and back up everything that's also made by Microsoft such as the USB and things like that or you can just go for non which is the same as w what this is searched for so because if you have a normal XP install and you put it on your drive um, likely it's likely that you're going to have the same Microsoft drivers as what you've backed up so there'd be no point in restoring the same drivers as what it's installed with XP. So uh, we'll do the same again, we're going to select them all and simply press backup drivers and it's processing, it's now copying things across so it's taking a little bit longer than the other one but it says driver backup complete and it's done so drivers 2 HPC which is the name of my computer and then it's got the names of everything on your computer so these two, these two things are particularly useful but they do the same thing I think you can also back up to a network drive if you have another computer type in the name 
press OK and it will back up to a network computer. So I strongly recommend that you get one of these. I will include the links to download them in the description. So a fail safe in case your computer goes wrong and you have to start over again and you need to reinstall your drivers. So thanks for watching my video. If you find another piece of software that you prefer to use um, that's free, we'd want to try and keep things free instead of talk about commercial software. So please leave a comment and rate and subscribe if you like my videos. So thanks for watching.